disagree with the Israeli government policy, why not just stop sales completely? Well, I disagree with the U.S. policy. We couldn't stop selling in the U.S. I think it's fine to be involved with a country, to be, to be a citizen of a country, and to protest some of, the, some of the country's actions. And that's essentially what we're doing in terms of Israel. We hugely support Israel's right to exist, mm -hmm. but we are against a particular policy. You guys are big proponents of voting rights. Why do you still sell ice cream in Georgia? Texas, abortion bans. Why are you still selling there? I don't know. <laughs> I mean, I mean, it's a, it's an interesting question. I don't know what, what that would accomplish. We're working on those issues of voting rights and. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I, I, you know, I mean, I, I think you ask a really good question, and I think, I'd have to sit down and think about it for a bit. Just a beautiful thing to see actual journalism happening in this country. It's a beautiful thing to see uh, somebody ask a legitimate question. It shows how little, like, thinking goes on inside of these boardrooms at Ben & Jerry's, like how little thinking happens inside of these boardrooms for these decisions to not sell ice cream in Israel. So if you need a little background on this, Ben & Jerry's said they're not going to sell ice cream in Israel because Israel is an apartheid state and Jewish people are mean people and they're not going to, you know, we're not going to like, we're not going to do any business with them, right? They are running a, uh, you know, an, an apartheid state with the Palestinians. And so no more ice cream for you. And Israel didn't care. I mean, this was like, what? Like, I, I don't know how many people in Israel eat Ben and Jerry's ice cream. I have no idea. And then that reporter goes through from Axios and asks like a legitimate question, which is, if you're going to use the context that every single person that I disagree with, I'm not going to sell them my ice cream. Well, you're going to have a tough go, dude, because you're running a for-profit company. You see, you're not running a nonprofit. You're running a company that has to answer to its shareholders. Your brand is owned and sold on the public marketplace. And so you're going to have to make a profit. So if you stop selling to people who you politically disagree with, especially in your fringe and extreme ideology, most Americans and ever, most people in Congress, like the Iron Dome vote came up in Congress, it got like 400 members of Congress to vote for it. Guys, most people are like, uh, okay, wait a second. This isn't right, okay? Like taking your ice cream from Israel. We like Israel, we kind of like Israel. So if you're going to say, I'm not gonna to sell to the people we disagree with, you're not gonna be able to sell to Texas, to the entire South, to anywhere that has like abortion restrictions or voting rights restrictions, yeah, your company's gonna go out of business very soon. We'll never buy Ben & Jerry's in this household ever again, uh, and I encourage you to do the same. Thank you for watching. We are 100% independent news. Are you sick of being lied to? We certainly are. That's why we started this channel, but we can't do it without you. We can't keep going without your help. All we ask is that you click like and subscribe and share this video. It's free and it keeps us going. It keeps us growing. It keeps us getting the truth out there to break the rotted corporate media infrastructure that wants to lie to you every single day, wants to corrupt your narratives, your truth, your story, and your very society. So support us by clicking like, clicking subscribe, and thank you, patriots.